I'm Charlotte Goodman. I'm the group director of Purpose and People Experience at Virgin. We think that at Virgin, that if you find the right bunch of people, they can do absolutely anything. Everyone wants to be part of a winning team. And I think that finding the right people and then having the right vision, values and principles to support them means that the business will really thrive. You want people who are curious and creative and solution focused and can do and happy to take risks but carefully calculate the ones they do. You want people to work really well together and to be collaborative and supportive and you really want to have fun at work as well. Purpose is really about getting a business to think about why it exists and it's about what role and meaning you want to play in people's lives and that's your people, your customers, your partners, the communities you serve and when you have a team that have a very strong clear purpose it really unifies them, it's, it's your rallying cry, it's your north star, it's your compass when times are tough. I think purpose driven teams are absolutely unstoppable. Whatever size your business is, you should actually be thinking about recruitment all the time, not just when you have a vacancy. Every time you meet people, you should be building a network, if you like, a community, so that then when you do have a vacancy and you're trying to fill a role, you have a really extensive network of contacts that you can reach out to to help you fill that role. It's so important to think about people's development from the minute they join your organisation. It shouldn't be a conversation that you have once a year when you're doing people's reviews. It should be from the time someone joins your business, you should be thinking not only about how you can develop them while they're in their role with you, but how you can help them develop in their career for their future aspirations. It doesn't have to be about an expensive training course. Sometimes just inviting someone to a meeting about a subject they've told you they're interested in but they don't know enough about, because while people feel developed, they'll stay with the business longer and you'll get much more from them, they'll feel more engaged. Don't recruit in your image, go and attract people that are really different to you, there's so much more to be gained from that. Diverse businesses perform better, so it's absolutely in your interest to build diverse teams, but attracting and retaining diverse talent is just part of it. The main thing then is to create inclusive cultures. The only question I really think you need to answer, because identities are complex and they're fluid and they constantly evolve, is can everyone truly be themselves at work? well-being again is just something you should be thinking about all the time. Know your people. They're all really different. Just know what makes them tick. Know what's the thing that matters most to them. It doesn't have to be about grand gestures or expensive solutions. If you know that someone has something they really want to leave early for and that that would really matter to them because it's their family, then let them leave early. Just be flexible and I don't think that has to be expensive. You should be thinking about retaining your people from the day they join your business. We spend so much time focusing on exit interviews when people have decided to leave the business. It's much more sensible to conduct a stay interview and asking them why it is they choose to stay and understanding if there's anything you can do to encourage them to do that longer.